Welcome to Web Quality Experts. Uh, today we are going to discuss in brief about SDLC. SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. It is also known as Application Development Lifecycle. Uh, let's go to Google and just write SDLC. Mm. Here we can see what exactly it is. Software Development Lifecycle or SDLC is a process. Is a process, okay, uh, used by the software industry design, develop, and test high quality softwares. The SDLC aims to produce high quality software that meets or exceeds customer expectations, reaches completion within times and cost estimates. Right. In system development life cycle or um, software development life cycle or application development life cycle, um, in systems engineering, information systems and software engineering, the systems development life cycle also referred to as the application development life cycle is a process is a process for planning creating testing uh, developing um, and deploying an information system let's see um, in our diagram what exactly it is if i click on the picture um, and make it a little bigger uh, let me make it a little bigger uh, we can see uh, different phases uh, in SDLC the first phase is the requirement analysis we have to gather requirements from a client or customer um, and ask a lot of questions and usually the business analyst uh, does uh, this task or play this role they gather the requirement from client then they analyze it and make a document on what actually um, the client is looking for in his application okay what are the functionality requirements then prepare a documentation then we'll send it to design um, environment and the graphic designer or user uh, experience de designer UX designer they design it according to the requirement okay once it is designed then implementation part starts um, implementation parts means the developing the software creating the software the programmer the coders the developers okay the web developers software developers that develop the piece of software the the software piece by piece um, okay uh, step by step uh, as part the requirement and design specification uh, they implement it once they code any part of the software they also push it to the test environment and the test engineers test the piece of software chunk by chunk and they also integrate it uh, every piece of software together and they do integration testing too okay and the last but not the least phase is the deployment and maintenance remember here are we we, we can see phase one two three four five only five phases but remember it 
uh, varies from industry to industry, from company to company, because uh, the first phase uh, can be requirement gathering or planning, planning, requirement gathering, requirement analysis. So you can uh, break this phase into three phases. So two more, that means seven. And you can break it into deployment and maintenance into two parts. And <laughs> then it will be eight phases. So some company follow this five phases, some company follow six phases, some company uh, follow seven phases. So usually we say um, SDLC has six phases. Uh, in some other company you see it has phase one, two, three, four, five, six. If you look into it, uh, you will see one more phases okay so the first phase is planning then analysis design implement testing uh, maintenance and you can break it into deployment and maintenance and the process goes on and on and on and on that is why it is called uh, software development life cycle because once uh, you deploy the application after testing when uh, there is no more bugs and 100% functional we deploy in the environment of the client and this software has to be maintained if they want to uh, add some more features and functionality then we have to again do planning how we can do it we have to gather the uh, functional requirements then analyze design and again implement then tasks and again deploy then again it, it will be uh, going on and on okay so it is a continuous process uh, rather I call it process it's a process okay so if you want to be a business analyst okay who gathers the requirements and make documentation or if you want to be a, a UX designer or graphic designer or a coder or programmer or test engineer or support system engineer whatever you want to be or play the role in any company what is important is you must familiar with this process with the various phases of software development life cycle if you really want to be a, a good um, business analyst if you want to be a good designer or if you want to be a good programmer, coder, or software developer, or web developer, or a web automation engineer, or support engineer, whatever uh, role you want to play and prepare yourself, you must have very, very clear understanding on the software development life cycle. How works how it maintain okay so um, I hope you understand it and if it is necessary please uh, pause the video play it back and watch it again remember you have to be master on this uh, phases okay thank you very much if you like this video don't forget to Mm, subscribe the channel we have initiated a very small company uh, with uh, some friends uh, and we are associated with Amazon associate program 
and if you want to attend in our uh, software development web development boot camps or web automation boot camps you can just click here and uh, you can show your interest and, and this is a payment gateway and if you have the skill what you can do just you can click here and sign up with this company this company will uh, send you offer of your dream job if you have enough skill if you don't have then join the bootcamp learn the skill sets then sign up and they will help you to find job and this is our blog you what you can do you can just click and you can follow along the syllabus we post our uh, bootcamp syllabus every uh, single day and you can find some ideas and the videos are mostly hidden here only for those students who are paid and we will definitely post some more video tutorial especially for the beginners so that you can have idea how this industry works if you think it is for you feel free to contact us and if you click on about you can see what our company does and you can uh, anytime shoot an email if you have further questions and what you can do more you can click on playlist and check the videos in the playlist okay and definitely we will be uploading every single day some um, short video tutorials especially for the beginners don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like it hope to uh, come back soon with some more video tutorials thank you